live from Nice, France. It's the Cube covering .next Conference 2017 Europe. Brought to you by Nutanix. The sun is shining here in Nice, France. I'm Stu Miniman, and this is the Cube. Happy to welcome back to the program. Uh, two guests that we've had on before, uh, Bob Wallace uh, with Nutanix and Wilfredo Sadalongo, uh, who's with Lenovo. Gentlemen, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Thank you All for right. inviting us. All right, so uh, we're getting towards the end of, of another Nutanix.next show. I, I've, I've had the pleasure of being at all five uh, of the shows. Uh, so a, a lot to kind of go through. Um, Bob, you know, we, we've had you on the program a couple of times. Mm -hmm. You know, you've been involved with all the OEM relationships. Sure. Uh, there, uh, bring us up to speed as to kind of the, you know, where does kind of OEM fit in the overall Nutanix story? Mm -hmm. uh, it's a big part of uh, how we're going to market now. Um, it, it really ties in with our interest in providing customers with choice, like we do uh, from a hypervisor perspective. Uh, we also do from a platform perspective to give customers the ability to, um, to they love the goodness, let's say, of Nutanix and all the things that the Nutanix solution brings and then they get the opportunity to then, to then um, connect with, connect that with a relationship they may have with uh, Lenovo as a partner to tie in with that, to truly work through the Lenovo goodness from a support perspective and everything like that. So we see it as a, as a broader theme in how Nutanix kind of goes to market, which is providing a maximum amount of choice to our customers. So, Wilfredo, uh, we, we've had the pleasure of kind of documenting some of the changes going on. You, you, you came into Lenovo through the IBM x86 acquisition. Um, we've watched Lenovo build out the data center group. I, I've interviewed Kirk Scalgan three times this year already, uh, and uh, you know, seen at partner events, at the Lenovo events. Uh, so, talk to us uh, just a little bit about, you know, how's your role changed, and you know, how, how do we think of Lenovo? today before we even get into the, the, the Nutanix piece? <coughs> well, Lenovo um, uh, has a very different approach to the segment, right? Um, we see a tremendous opportunity, a tripling of our addressable market, uh, primarily driven, driven by the shift to software-defined architectures, with Nutanix being one of the primary software-defined architectures, and, and we see ourselves uh, as having a technology disruptor responsibility. Uh, i.e., rather than being a legacy provider with a, uh, protecting the status quo, we see ourselves as the challengers trying to shift the discussion to the future. And actually fits right in to why we partnered with Nutanix almost two years ago now, right? We saw Nutanix as an emerging, aggressive, forward-looking provider of, of, of technology and, and new options. And with that common vision and common role in the industry, we decided to partner with them to accelerate that process. Um, so, different role, new relationship, actually not as new anymore, mm. almost two years, yeah, yeah. but the same common desire. Well, yeah. I think, and it just, I just built on that, the, it ties in perfectly with Nutanix disruptive technology and approach. And I personally, as a, as a sales leader and sales rep myself uh, over time, you should have a perspective, and Lenovo has made, a, made choices to have a perspective in how they're approaching the market with the technology, rather than some other vendors that have kind of a, a menu approach, and I think it's the right thing that serves the customer's needs to be able to be a trusted advisor to the customer and not say, I can offer you anything, but to say, here's what I believe is the right solution for you, and Lenovo does a great job at that. Yeah, well, well Fredo, uh, we, we've heard from Nutanix uh, a lot this week uh, that their goal is to be an iconic software company. Uh, so that means they're going to need hardware, they're going to they're need someone to help complete uh, some of the pieces there. Uh, why is Nutanix best in partnership with Lenovo? Okay, well, that, that, that's, a, that's a perfect question, <laughs> but you said something that triggered a, uh, a, a comment that I made to you earlier today. I like the shift I'm seeing in the messaging, in the strategy, in the product direction that Nutanix uh, has embarked upon the last six to 12 months, uh, because aspiring to be much more than a hyper-converged infrastructure provider is key, right, mm -hmm. for the success. In these multi-cloud uh, hybrid environments, right, you need to play to be much more than just a, a virtual storage player, right? Now, with that said, we, we, we got together with Nutanix and we started building out our portfolio, right? The, the, the first few months of the relationship, we were just trying to catch up to what was already there. 
Uh, the good news is we've been investing consistently uh, 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 in these two years, and now, instead of trying to catch up, we're actually leading the transformation. So to answer your very specific question, point number one, we're the first ones to market with Skylake, uh, Intel Skylake versions of their solution. Uh, uh, even, even your own, it's not gonna, it, you know, it's coming in a few months. Mm -hmm. Ours is already in market uh, since last month. Point number two, uh, we recognize the need to virtualize not only the server and the storage capability, but also the network. Uh, and uh, we invested in software in our switches, in the Lenovo switches, that allow us to virtualize all three of them in Nutanix implementations. So, uh, as, a Nut as a Nutanix uh, uh, system administrator, right, you have the choice now with Lenovo, and only with Lenovo, uh, to uh, manage even the, the network. And when there are um, unfortunate circumstances that create a uh, failure, all of that is the, the migration of the workloads are completely automated, including the networking changes required, right? Number three, and this one I didn't even know until one of my Nutanix <laughs> colleagues pointed it out today, uh, is our latest uh, version of hardware where we run the Nutanix workloads has unique resiliency and availability features that none of my competitors have, like hot swappable fans. Fans are actually the number one item that breaks in infrastructure. So hot swappable fans mean makes a big difference mm -hmm. for them, right? Um, and then last but not least, and it's the one that, that has characterized us the most over the almost two year long relationship is support, right? We come from a heritage of you know enterprise grade support, right? Things don't go down. The quality of the hardware, the quality of the software, the quality of the support structure that makes sure that the client is has peace of mind in terms of, of uh, if anything goes wrong. Yeah. Four points. Mm -hmm. Bob? <coughs> one, one of the reasons, of course, Nutanix partners with companies like Lenovo is to help with reach. Uh -huh. Can you speak to kind of the global go to, mar go to market that they help with? Oh, absolutely, yeah. So um, I've, I've recently also taken on our, our uh, channel organization from a sales perspective. <coughs> and from my perspective, we really have, we have regional partners, we have national partners, and we have global partners. And those global partners are, are OEMs like Lenovo. They have the ability to allow us the, to engage with global customers that have operations all over the world to not only get the right product in the right place, but also from a support perspective, support those customers in place. Because uh, just like Lenovo, Nutanix, and we talk a lot about our NPS score and our support organization, but it really is, that ties together in such a good way. Uh, our nine, uh, 90 plus NPS score, our customers uh, depend and count on us for that. And when they're looking at a, the underlying hardware platform, they need something that, that keeps that level of commitment to the customer there, and that's what Lenovo brings. And from a global perspective, it gives us a reach. Uh, frankly, a, co a company, that the size that we've been over the last two years just couldn't serve uh, some areas of the world. In a specific area um, where I think uh, we can make a big difference together is in, in Fortune, global Fortune 500s. This is also part of my responsibility inside mm -hmm. Lenovo, and, uh, which I picked up recently in the last few months. And as, as, as the Nutanix technology is uh, maturing and proven into the largest, most complex environments, we're helping support their, their, their reach into those biggest accounts where we already tend to be a large provider of either PC or server technology, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, and it happens to be, by the way, one of the strongest capabilities that Lenovo has as compared to what I expected when I first came here, right? We're pretty good in terms of a global accounts program. Yeah, well, well, well Fredo, I wonder if you can expand on that a little bit, because absolutely, going up market, you know, every company wants to go up market. <laughs> Is the enterprise, have they just not felt that the maturity was there, or are they a little nervous about y you know young you know uh, companies, or why is it now uh, you know kind of ready for, for for those type of engagements? I, I'm not seeing that much resistance anymore. To be very candid, uh, uh, not sure why there was any resistance in the first place. Mm -hmm. Maybe because uh, of a young company. Uh, right now, it's more about the discipline to come in, uh, pick a use case, demonstrate it to approve a concept and execute it flawlessly, right? And where we do that, uh, which by the way, we most of the time do through systems integrators, 
like IBM, like Capgemini, like KPMG, it works very well. Uh, and we, we're beginning to see some, uh, um, I'm going to say, fairly large deployments mm -hmm. uh, that, um, that we hope to build on for the future. Yeah, we had some meetings here this week with some of those, lar a lot of the customers here, or those large organizations that we're partnering up on. Yeah, um, any specific you know, verticals or geographies that you're, you're especially excited for or kind of catching fire lately? Well, EMEA, uh, I think uh, we've, we've um, EMEA for Lenovo is the, uh, for if I had it right, it's the fastest growing mm -hmm. uh, market for Lenovo. Uh, and I think we've had a lot of, uh, Wilfredo and our team have been working closely together over the last two years to really build that out. Uh, so I'd say EMEA is very strong. I think we're seeing a lot of growth, but with Lenovo, clearly uh, Asia, the Asian region, you know, PRC is a is a huge market for them. Uh, it's it's you know obviously have a deep legacy there. So we're doing a lot in uh, APAC as well. From an industry perspective, um, I actually don't pick up a pattern. I I, I see your your our your our mm, technology mm. Uh, quite applicable uh, in in almost all industries. Um, I mean, uh, earlier uh, in the conference, we had one of our customers speak, right? Uh, one of our joint customers speak, right? Uh, one of their hospital in Azerbaijan, right? Healthcare, state-of-the-art hospital, state-of-the-art IT infrastructure, running everything, running everything, right? From the hospital information system to the medical imaging uh, OEM software, everything, right? And, and we see more and more institutions, right? Making the migration, mm -hmm. making the job, to state-of-the-art architectures and technologies and running the totality of the workloads. And that's a core uh, government project and very important project for the government of Azerbaijan. And having a trusted partner like Lenovo in that scenario not only gives us the reach to, to reach into Azerbaijan, but to have the trust level with uh, you know, an institution that ultimately has to be successful. A hospital, you just, there's no room for error. Yeah. I uh, want to give you both uh, the, really the final word here. Uh, w w Wilfredo, if somebody didn't come to the event, you know, what might they not know about HX and you know, the offering uh, that, that you'd want to make sure that they dig in and learn a little more about? Um, Lenovo is all about disrupting uh, the status quo and helping you get to the future faster. Nutanix is about the same thing. Together, we've actually created uh, an offering now that is differentiated against all the OEMs. Come talk to both of us about it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd say um, if you weren't here at the show, the thing you might have missed is uh, Nutanix bringing our, uh, our one-click simplicity that we're known for to the cloud era and really helping customers manage what we call an enterprise cloud uh, that includes multiple cloud offerings, both on-prem and public cloud, with our one-click simplicity and removing a lot of the barriers and complexity that customers are dealing with today as they, as they look at how to manage their infrastructure between the different clouds that are out there. Bob Wallace, Wilfredo Satalongo, thank you gentlemen both Thanks, for, for joining thank us Steve. again. We're getting towards the end of two days of live coverage, but be sure to check out thecube.net for all of our coverage for this and all upcoming shows. I'm Stu Miniman and you're watching theCUBE. Cube. <laughs>